Hi, I'm Dr. Gavin Harris, and here are three things you should know about mosquito-borne illnesses. One, rates of most vector-borne diseases are increasing, particularly among mosquito-borne illnesses including malaria, West Nile virus, and dengue fever. Climate change and human behavior, such as outdoor recreational activities and land use practices that increase exposure to vectors, play a significant role in the spread of vector-borne diseases. Two, widespread and intensive use of pesticides and mosquito control has been a major factor contributing to the development of pesticide resistance in mosquito populations. However, increased resistance or habituation to DEET and Picard in two safe personal insect repellents has not been observed. So as the mosquito season continues, it's crucial for healthcare providers to educate patients on appropriate preventative measures to mitigate the risks associated with these diseases. Encourage patients to use insect repellent and wear protective clothing, especially during peak mosquito hours. Three, equally critical, healthcare providers should remain vigilant to ensure prompt diagnosis, treatment, and reporting of suspected cases of mosquito-borne illnesses to local health authorities. Malaria, West Nile virus, and dengue fever are reportable diseases in the United States. If you suspect a case of one of these diseases, contact the CDC or your local or state health department. There are no specific antiviral treatments for dengue and West Nile virus, yet antimalarial therapy exists for uncomplicated and severe malaria and is most effective with prompt identification and initiation. The CDC's website outlines the steps to access the treatments. For additional information and links to healthcare-related resources, visit us on the web at netech.org.